Hey guys, this is Mark Spector Comics here, and I come to you today with a hot book alert number three. So, um, this will find you pretty interesting if you're a Marvel and or uh, X-Men fan, as I um, ended up finding out recently that this book has been spiking up in uh, price recently. So, um, the book in question today is... New X-Men number 128 and uh, this is the first appearance of Phantom X. So um, if you guys you guys watch the uh, Deadpool movies um, you already know that they've introduced the X-Force team so um, you could easily see down the road when they introduce X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe that they um, if they introduce Deadpool, which they're definitely going to do down the road, they're going to have to do an X-Force movie. And um, when it comes to X-Force, this character definitely has uh, a role, I say, in the, um, in the movie. And he's, um, he's a pretty interesting character. Um, I read this book. I've had this book in my, uh, my PC for a little over a year now. I didn't pay much for it. I think I paid a little under... 15 bucks and this is a near mint plus copy but um I reread the issue tonight and it was it was pretty good um the writing was pretty good the art was so so um it's it's a Grant Morrison story so it's you, you know his stories are pretty good and um 129 is also his first full cover appearance. I'll put an image on there as well. Um, and if you can get his solo story, I believe it's a four-part four part story, Phantom X Max. This is number one. You can easily get these in the dollar bin. I paid a dollar for this book as well. Um, the stories and the, uh, the art in here is really good. But... Um, but the uh, I found some uh, interest in this book lately on on one of my apps, and um, it was basically saying that let me see, so that Marvel is teasing uh, Charlie Cluster Seven, so that's Phantom X in the world, which is the um, the organization that they play into for upcoming arcs. So um, as you already know that. X Men's pretty much scrapped all of their all of their stories, and uh, Jonathan Hickman is going to be starting up the writing up again for X Men. So, um, so Hickman's run is going to be featuring uh, Professor X and uh, inhabiting Phantom X's body in the upcoming uh, Weapon Plus tease. So, uh, because of that information, this book has like jumped up almost almost 300 percent in copies sold over the past week and um, CGC 9.8s of uh, New X-Men number 128 have been going up around 150 bucks which previously was like around 120 125-ish in the past week um, some more backstory if you're not familiar with this character um, and uh, some interest in this character as well is um, the actor that played Ajax in the first uh, Deadpool movie, I forget what his name was, but um, I think it was Screen. Screen was his last name. But he played Ajax in the um, in the first Deadpool movie. He's actually interested in playing Phantom X if they if they ended up making a, a, uh, an X Force movie. But uh, going back to some backdrop on uh, backstory on uh, Phantom X is uh, he's. He's a character that comes from a place called The World, which is this uh, high-tech facility made by the Weapon Plus program, which is uh, located in England. So it's an artificial environment populated by robots and mad scientists. So the entire point of the facility is to uh, create super beings that can hunt down basically mutants. So Phantom X is one of those beings. Um, he grew up in The World and his uh, creators put him through uh, countless simulations uh, almost similar to something like the Matrix 
Um, so more about this uh, Weapon Plus program, it's a, it's a follow-up to the Weapon X program. Uh, the goal was to turn mutants into the government killing machines, basically in a nutshell. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so um, the, the actor uh, screen, so if he, if he does play him, it could be easily be played by anybody because he's just like a, he's like a masked anti-hero. Um, that's known more for his uh, thievery than anything else. But um, so yeah, that's that's uh, pretty interesting news um, to hear. Phantom X, you know, potentially entering uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, so just as a recap, uh, the books that you want to be looking out for is New X Men number one twenty eight. It's the uh, first full appearance of. Phantom X, and it has uh, a great cover of Jean Grey on there. Um, number 129, which is his first full cover appearance. And uh, also, if you want to just try to pick this up, it's a four-part miniseries, Phantom X Max number one. Um, it's a great story, and you can easily pick it up in a dollar bin. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what's coming up next in my channel I have a few things to record I have my um, under the radar rising star part two which is uh, featuring Namor the Submariner I've been uh, holding off on that for a while I'm not really sure why I just haven't had time to record it um, I have my CGC uh, signed unboxings to um, to record and my original art to um, to record as well by uh, Robert Geronimo, uh, Robert Geronimo from uh, Blood Realm. So um, depending on timing, I might just either do a recording or I might just go live. So stay tuned for that. But uh, until next time, it's uh, Mark Spector Comics with my hot book alert number three on uh, Phantom X. All right, later, guys.